Good afternoon, Dylan. And Jack, good afternoon. We're going to get started with uh, advanced class in just a minute here. Good afternoon, Zoe. And Rohan's here. Caleb's here. Awesome, guys. Great to see you today. Get yourself ready. You can use this time. Mr. Woods here. Uh, use this time to go ahead and uh, stretch out, warm up, clear some space. All right. Liam's here. Tisha's here. Cool. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to get started right now. Uh, again, go ahead and just make sure you got some room. Uh, we are going to be working on our blue stripe today, which uh, if you guys remember, blue stripe is our linear jump kicking combination. Uh, so uh, make sure again, we're you know, getting those, those jumps and uh, room around, okay? Really important. I know I keep saying it, but I just want to look out for you and look out for uh, your families, of course. Make sure that uh, they, they know that you're practicing right now too, guys, so that when you shout from wherever you're at, Aya! right, nobody comes running and wondering, uh, are you okay? Right? And make sure it's that yell, right? The Aya! not the I'm help, help, that kind of scream, okay? All right, very seriously, guys, let's get started. Jumbi position, focus my body, sir. Chai up, Kyungnae, and Jumbi. Very good, guys. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump up into our fighting stance. Aya! I want a knee up to the hands and a high leg lift. Ready? Knee up and leg lift. One, two, knee and Leg lift, ready, three, knee, and leg lift, ready, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, yell, ayo, ayo, so three, ayo, again, ready, one, Shh. don't forget to breathe, two, Three, four, okay, and remember we're not bringing our hands down here, but our hands are up and we're lifting that knee, really start that stretch in your hip and then stretch out the back of your leg, okay, as you do that high leg lift, right, knee up, nice and high, leg lift up even higher, knee up and leg lift, knee up and leg lift, last one, knee up and yell, aya. All right, spread your feet a little bit wider than your shoulders. And what I want you to do is just relax. Try to lower your chest. Don't worry about the floor right now, okay? Focus on lowering your chest, feeling that stretch in the back of your legs. Okay? And I want you to keep doing it. Stay there, embrace the stretch, okay? Meaning that when it starts to hurt, don't bounce back, but don't bounce forward either. Try to slowly Work yourself down, and if you can, keep your hands on your legs. Feel your leg muscles are getting tight. You can feel them. Try to stretch them. Good, keep going. A couple more seconds. Keep going, keep going. Keep stretching, keep stretching. Okay, and if you guys have not already, just make sure that you uh, put your name in the comment section. Uh, even if uh, at the very end of the video, if you want, you can put your name in the comment section. Just please do so, that way we, uh, we will take attendance today. And we will make sure that we stamp your card, uh, give you class credit for being here, okay? Also, just to be able to highlight you and say thanks for being here, guys. Slowly stand up, shake out your legs a little bit. All right, okay, so now what we're gonna do is instead of lifting the knee up to the front, right? Hopefully you can kind of recognize that lifting your knee up like this actually prepares us for a kick. What kick does it prepare us for? That's right, front kicks, right? Because when your knee comes up this way, that's the chamber for the front kick. But what about when we're doing side kicks, right? We don't chamber the same way. So let's warm up those muscles. Instead of jumping into a fighting stance, just put your hands up here and let's take that first side and let's swing. And swing. And four. And five. 
Okay, now notice this stretch for me is not nearly as high as the front leg lift, okay? These, this muscle group is on the inside of your thigh, generally gonna be a little bit tighter, okay? So look, it only, only gets maybe hip level, but look, I got it head level. How did I do it? My toes were up, that's not good. Focus on form. Turn those toes, lock it out, and lift. And lift, two more. Lift, give me a yell, ah okay? Practice your yell, very seriously guys, from your key, from your core, here, ay not ay -ah. okay, don't just say it, feel it. Turn to the other side, you don't even have to switch feet, just focus on locking the leg, pointing your toes down slightly, you'll feel the stretch right out in the back of your hip, ready, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, and aya! Good, okay. All right, guys, so again, that stretch here is gonna help when we chamber and we throw those strong side kicks, when we jump up and throw that side kick, okay? Uh, but before we get there, still working, we're gonna now go from the straight leg stretch to a bent knee to elbow position my stomach facing forward, but I'm gonna bring that knee across my body as if I was kicking to that side. We're not gonna throw the kick, we're just bringing knee to elbow. Ready? Knee to elbow, one. Now go to the other side, ready? Two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and aya! Good, okay? If you feel it in your muscles on the outside of your body and your side obliques here, uh, then you know that you're doing it correctly, okay? Muscle feeling is a good helpful tip to remind how you're doing your techniques, if it's correct or not. By learning to feel it in the correct muscles, you can learn to uh, be able to give yourself feedback whether you're doing it correctly. But again, feeling that tightness here is a good sign. When we lift that knee as you practice, remember to maintain the height of your knee and your foot. This is challenging, so a lot of us drop the foot under the knee, me included sometimes. Okay, I'm not perfect, but I'm working. So when you lift that knee, you really wanna turn it sideways. So your, your knee and your foot are more level, and then you're pushing straight. But if I lift my knee higher, what way am I angling my kick? Down, that's right. Usually we're not trying to kick down, so let's try to keep the foot up high as the knee. All right, where do we leave off? We're on what kind of leg lifts? What kind of leg lifts? Back leg lifts, okay? So make sure you look behind you, not gonna hit anything. Okay, now here's another stretch that you can recognize by muscle feeling. If you feel this in your lower back, then you're doing it correctly. Okay, so I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see it. If I stand up tall, now this is gonna be the lowest leg lift, but if I stand up tall and I straighten my leg, oh, I feel it already, but watch this. I don't feel anything, All right? Well, two reasons, I'm leaning and I'm bending my leg. Back straight, lift, squeeze it right near your glutes here. Ready, give me 10. One, push, two, three, four. Do you feel it in your lower back yet? Five, I do. Six, seven, eight, nine, heel up, and yell, ay All right, go ahead and turn over to the other side. Other leg, backwards leg lift, maintain good posture. Ready, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and aya, aya. Oh, good, all right. So and now hopefully we're feeling it kind of all around our body, okay? Core strength helps for your balance, helps for power, for stability, okay? Core strength is so important. If you are wondering like, what can I do? How can I better myself? Get some, some core exercise going, whether it's, you know, crunches or leg lifts or some fun activity outside. Go hang on a tree and see how many times you can pull your knees up like that. You'll be amazed at how that's gonna build your core. You're doing pull-ups, right? Okay, so think about it, okay? But here we go. Now, for our back kicks, I want you to remember that when you chamber for a back kick, 
You don't want your knee to rise above your foot. Just like a side kick, you want your knee and your foot to be in line so that when I kick, my kick is linear or it's in a line, it's straight. Uh, but if it swings and it arcs, you're not gonna generate the same power, okay? So when you fold for a back kick, the knee's not up high and the foot low, the knee's down with the foot in line. Now, if I wanna back kick higher, I can lift my leg out a little higher as long as I keep my heel up like that, right? See how it's working to turn my hip over? That's what you wanna think. So as we do our back kick folds, all we're gonna do is we're gonna tuck it right here. Ready, show me, and by the way, one more thing. As you do it, this is a good chance to practice foot position. If you pick up your foot and your ankle's loose, that's not a good sign, okay? Pick up your foot, tight ankle. Think of swinging your toes up, ready? One, down, two, down, three, down. Remember that we would be kicking this way. Ready, four, and aya. Now, chamber over on the other side. Now this one might feel easy, but jump turning back kick because of the rotation is one of the hardest kicks. If you really get your muscle memory down for that fold, it makes it so much easier because while well, you're thinking about the jump and the turn, if you have to think so hard about the fold, it's, it's gonna make it super difficult. If you get the fold down to where it's like, that's easy. You jump, you turn, and you're already in that fold, so then you just throw the kick but it's again, just being able to break down the parts. Do you guys understand? Yes, sir. All right, here we go. Other leg, ready? Chamber. Down. Now when you chamber, come on advanced students, ready? Chamber. Are you holding it or are you wobbling? Come on, ready? We've got three more, ready? Chamber. Remember, you'd be kicking this way. Ready, and chamber. Good, last one, ready? And chamber, aya! And set it down. All right, everyone turn around, fix yourselves. Thank you, sir. and stand relaxed. Okay guys, so now building on those basics, those good warm up, getting those folds and those stretches so the legs are ready to go. Now what I wanna do is I wanna practice two leg jumping, one leg jumping, okay? So we understand two legs and one leg, and then we'll do basic kicks, and then we'll put them together and we'll do our jump kicks in the air, and then in combination. So here's what I want, get in a fighting stance yell, Ayo! So the first jump that I want, there's no kick in it at all. All I want you to do is bend, and I want you to spring up, and when you finish, I want you to put the other leg in front. So you bend up, and then just put the other leg in front. Ready, bend up, other leg in front. Bend up, okay? Now, do that, but move forward a little bit. However, when you do it in place, watch this. Both feet, same time. Both feet, same time. When I jump forward, try not to, I don't know if you can see it, but I hit one, two. See if you can jump up, but move forward. Finish in a stance with your knees bent. Back up and give yourself room. Ready, I didn't see it. Bend, jump up and forward. Bend, jump up and forward. Bend, jump up and forward. Bend, jump up. Bend, jump up. Every time you landed, did you land stable? Or did you land and have to adjust? I have to remind you again, guys, that if you jumped up and you landed and you had a hard time landing two feet at the same time, break it down, do it in place. Bam, 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 where I can get them both. And then if I go forward, bam, it has stability. But if I'm jumping, and I'm falling, how do you think a kick's gonna look in there? I know, not very good, right? So we gotta be able to jump up, but maintain balance. Ooh, who thinks that was easy? Got it? If you don't, review. If you do, let's move on. So now, we're gonna do this a little bit kind of fun for those of you that do any kind of uh, board sports. Board sports, skateboarding, snowboarding, stuff like that. Okay, uh, they, um, they have a term that they would call front side, where my body's facing front. Easy to understand. And then they have tricks where they call it, what do you think? Woo! They call it backside, right? So you got front side, backside, and it's like facing forward, facing backwards simply. 
but it makes sense because now the next jump is gonna be a backside jump, okay? Where I jump and I turn 180 or half of a turn and then I land. Now, uh, if, you know, as, as we're practicing, man, we really, we could work on this a lot, guys. Just this simple jump, backside turn, land. Let's see who can do 10 in a row and land both feet same time. Don't move forward. Jump straight up, turn 180, freeze. Ready? Hands up. Ready? Give me a 180 backside jump turn. One. Ready? Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Okay, you got the idea. Ready? Seven. Eight, nine, yell, yeah! How are we doing? Double thumbs up, fist bump, fist bump. Awesome, okay. So maintaining balance as you jump with rotation like this is important. What might happen, right? Understand that your body follows your head. Okay, it's as if you got this weight in your head. Wherever you go, your body's following it. So if you lean, I'm gonna fall that direction. So that's why we always talk about having posture, shoulders over hips, so that when you rotate, you rotate with your body up where your balance is best. Okay, so focus on that head up, shoulders up, jump, turn, land, nice and smooth. But, does anybody know where we're going? I mean, after all, we really want to get power on a jump turning back kick, don't we? Of course, it's one of our strongest jump kicks, right? And so with the jump turning back kick, we still have to move forward, but we have to move forward with what? Balance, okay? So if, uh, if you remember, just for fun, if you have anybody that's helping you, okay, you can practice your, your jumping, you know, butt strikes like that, uh, pushing your hips backwards, but if you're doing it on your own, and you should be, okay, this is a good drill, right? We can jump, turn, backside, but try to move forward. And I want you to land two feet. But watch this. See if you can recognize the timing. Tell me, is this a two-leg jump? No. I turned, I lifted up one, then I hopped. But what about this? Both knees bent. Remember to push forward. Both feet land at the same time. Yes. That was a two leg jump, okay? So let's try a two leg jump, backside turn 180, moving forward. Oh, what did I just say? A two leg backside jump turn 180, okay, and then move forward, okay? So here we go, we're in our fighting stance. Ayah! Bend! Remember, you're moving forward. Jump turn! Did you wobble? If you did, do it again. Okay, ready? We're gonna go from here. Jump turn, go! Two leg land. If you made a mistake, you wobble, whatever, do it again. If you weren't happy with your performance, do it again. Ready? Hold your stance. Jump, turn. Jump, turn. There you go. I hope I kind of moved towards you so you saw what I was looking for. Okay? So now we have the motion of jumping two legs forward for a front kick, jumping two legs backside for a back kick. What's the last jump we're going to do? What are we going to do? One leg, right? One leg jump into our flying side kick, okay? So for this one leg jump, I want you to do, I don't know, while we're having fun with it, uh, I want you to do, you guys ever hear a heel clicker? I don't know, all these sports are just coming to mind, like motocross, they get up in the air and they tap, pow, their feet together. Watch this. We're gonna do a one leg jump, and then I want you to try to, <laughs> Tap your feet together, okay? Imagine it was just like a St. Patrick's Day, right? So like a leprechaun, right? Oh, like that, okay? So start in your fighting stance. Ayah! Lift up your front leg. Now when we push off, first this leg has to go up. And if we we're doing our side kick, remember it would come right to here, right to the chamber for the side kick. For now, just jump up. See if you can pop the other leg up there. Ready? And wind up. Jump and heel click. One. Now, tough. Other side. Ready? Other side. Wind up. Jump and heel click. Ready? Wind up and jump and get him up there. 
Okay, again, I'm helping you to do this to see how you have to get your feet off the floor. Uh, I see a lot of flying side kicks that look like this. See my back leg? It didn't even lift, it just, right here, if I'm trying to jump over the horse that's holding the rider in wooden armor that has his sword out like he's gonna try to hurt me, well, I can't just like run and like plow into the horse like this. I've gotta get my leg up and I've gotta jump all the way over and, and throw that kick. All right, I know, it was, it was a story. It was, it was told to me, okay? Long time ago, hopefully you remember that story. But that jump helps, bang, for that side kick. Everyone turn around, fix yourself. Everyone stand relaxed. All right, basic kicks, guys. Let's focus on good form, especially a good fold. Because here's what happens in your jump kick. You're gonna jump up while you're in the air. You have to fold, kick, and then start to perhaps recoil before you hit the ground. So you don't wanna jump, land, kick. That's not a jump kick. You have to jump, kick in the air. The only way to have enough uh, time to get that kick out is to get the fold quick. So remember to focus on your folds and your recoils for our basic kicks. Back up a little bit. Fighting stance yell. Stepping front kick. Ready? One. Fold and recoil. Two. Three. Four. All right, you are advanced students. I want to see double round kicks. So as soon as you fold, kick, recoil. Kick, recoil again. Ready? Go. 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 Come on, good control. No wobbles. Ready? Aya. Aya. Hold your stance. Run backwards fast. All right. Fighting stance. Yell. Aya. So for our spinning side kick. Back leg has to come all the way across. You get a tight fold, try to bring it to this, uh, so your front elbow, but when you spin, it will become your back elbow. Get a good fold and then side kick. Imagine, uh, I should try this sometime. Imagine on the bottom of my foot, I wrote something, boom, and I wanted you to read it like that. I want to see the bottom of your foot. Ready? Everybody, spinning side kick. Ready? One. Ready, two, three, four, tight, full, good kick. Ready, five, and six. What comes next? We got double side kick, ready? Get a good chamber the second time too. Ready, go. Oh, those muscles I was using before. Right, okay, here we go, ready, go. Two more. Ready? Go! Last one. Aya! Aya! Run backwards. And fight and see it. Aya! Okay, last one. What are we working on, class? Focus on where we're at, where we've been, where we're going. Turning back kicks. Be careful not to over rotate. Just a little rotation. Thrust that kick. Ready? Turning back kick. One. Now with me. Ready? Two. Three. Four. Now if you could see my stomach right now, like I did this, that wouldn't be good because I wouldn't be in the backwards position. So make sure your stomach doesn't get pointed towards the, uh, the device that you're watching. Look. Ready, kick. Body still backwards. Turn, kick. Body still backwards. Give me a yell. Aya! Aya! And run backwards. Everyone, turn around and fix yourselves. Thank you, sir. Stand relaxed. Thank you, sir. All right, so 
Now, as we do our jump kicks, I'm gonna try to, to demonstrate it for you a little bit, uh, but give you a little time to, to try to work on it on your own, give you some tips, okay, things to be looking for so you can make them your best kicks. Okay, so back up, give yourself some room. I can stand yell. When you start your jump front kick, any jump kick really, if your feet are very far apart, you won't be able to lift as well. So start with your feet a little closer. Now we're gonna jump both feet up, okay? Go forward, but with control. The further you move forward, the harder it is to balance and control. So start small and then work to build it up, but two leg jump, jump and front kick. Whoosh. Again, two leg jump. If you landed too far, move your feet back. That's okay, get your feet close. Bend, jump, run kick. Whoosh. Jump, run kick. Whoosh. Jump, run kick. Whoosh. Jump, run kick. Jump, run kick. Jump, run kick. And yell, jump. Ayah! Okay, stand relaxed for a second. And now when you do your front kick, remember, arch that foot. It gives us extra reach. I would rather this person not be so close to me so I'm gonna keep them away by extending my foot rather than doing something like this that's short. Extend the hips, extend the ball of your foot. Yes, sir? All right, let's go ahead and try that one more time on your own. Give yourself a, a little room, practice maybe eight or 10 kicks, jump up, try to move forward, front kick. Again, jump up, move forward, front kick. Watch your balance, you should be able to finish without wobbling, because as we get into the combination from this jump, I'll have some tips about how to go right into your next kick. What kicks next? After jump front kick comes, jump turning back. That's right, okay. Try one more time, two more times. And finish with a yell every time. Aya! Run backwards when you're done. Okay, so we're gonna go into our jump turning back kick. Now, like I said before, this is the one that takes the most control. If you try to twist hard, you're probably gonna fall off balance, okay? Head up, little turn. Fighting stance, yell. In fact, if you wanna start by pivoting, right? Pointing your heels to the front, that helps to limit the total turn, which makes it easier. If I start more forward, I have a longer way to go. Makes it harder. More powerful, but more difficult. So if you're just learning it, start it rather easy and then build up the difficulty, but keep the, uh, keep the good form as you do it. So heels are backwards if needed, okay? I'm gonna jump towards the front this way and I'm gonna rotate just a little back kick. Ready, jump, turn, back kick. One, Whoosh. ready, jump, turn, two. Whoosh. And in reality, your jump doesn't need to be very high especially with no target, because then uh, you're more likely to be off balance. Just jump a little, but jump forward. Jump turn, go! And jump turn, ayah! Ayah! Backwards, right? Okay, and pado. Stand relax. So, just as a reminder, when you're doing jump kicks in the air, understand that because there's nothing there for you to actually hit, anything to support or hold you up, kicks in the air, are always done with a little bit less thrust than they would if I was hitting something. Because if I was hitting something, it would again support me. If I try to over thrust without a target there, I'm likely to, to fall or to hurt myself. So limit your thrust to where you're comfortable and you can work it uh, and don't overdo it to the point of, of hurting yourself. Uh, but when you have a target, okay, which I recommend guys, even uh, if you can find uh, a couple pillows or, you know, we can be creative, we can adapt, find something, okay, that you can work at kicking because it's important to do it in the air and feel the balance, but it's really important to feel the strength of the kick, okay? After all, kicking with balance alone wouldn't necessarily protect us, but the balance will help to create more strength. So you need the balance first but we do need to kick hard. So make sure, try to get the opportunity to feel what that's like, okay? Third kick, everyone run backwards. We're doing our flying side kick. Fighting stand, aya! Wind up the front leg, let's get some air. Ready, jump up, side kick. Whoosh. Remember to tuck that back leg like that heel clicker. Ready, wind up, jump, side kick. Whoosh. Ready, wind.
wind up, jump, side kick. And again, wind up, jump, side kick. Ready? Again, wind up, jump, side kick. Wind up, jump, side kick. All right, two more. Ready? Wind up, jump, side kick. And last one. Wind up, jump, side kick, yell. Double thumbs up, guys. Good job. Pound it. Awesome. Let's put it in combination, guys. Let's get to it. Ready? Find these hands. Ayah! Short stance. Jump front kick. One. Pivot. Ideally, when you land, you want to land mostly backwards. So we don't have to do this adjustment while we're standing there. So it looks more like kick. And now I'm ready. Now jump, turn back kick. If you can, keep that leg up so we can go right into the fly and side kick. Start again. Right leg in front. Jump, front kick. Pivot. Jump, turning back kick. Keep it up. Flying side. All right, back up. Fighting stance. Ready and go. Jump, front kick. Jump, turning back kick. Flying side kick, jump front kick, jump turning back kick, flying side kick, Ayah! and good. Okay, now understand that my goal from the beginning was not to just do the combination itself a hundred times. That's your job, okay? That is your homework, all right? To do that combination many, many more times. But where I come in is that I can give you the tips, the little things, the form, the foot position, the details. So take the details that I give you and plug them into what you're already doing. Because there's a lot of details that I reviewed that you are doing, okay? And so you should be confident and proud about that. But you should know it. Know that you're doing it. And then there are some things that you are not doing. That's okay. That's where you are in your learning journey. So the things that you're not doing, pay attention to them. So ultimately, you do do them, and then, uh, and then you keep moving forward. We'll learn new things, okay? And that's growth, okay? A couple things, guys. Don't forget, if you are ready to show us your requirements, okay? Um, you can upload a video of you doing your jump kick combination, okay? If you have something you can kick, great. All right, if you want to borrow something, we still have a couple targets left. You guys are welcome to, to come on in, set up a set up time that you can come in and we can get you a target, okay, if you want to order a target. But ideally, if you have something, that would be better. If not, um, to show with good form in the air actually shows more skill. So you can do it in the air if you like. Just emphasize power and control. So if you're ready to do that, okay, film yourself, uh, uh, put it, uh, have your parents post it on their Facebook account, and then you can tag the studio, and uh, that will be your, your entry, your submission, and we'll, uh, we'll contact you back about you earning or, or receiving your strike. Don't forget um, that uh, coming up on Friday, we're going to have a, a little bit different format for our strike testing, so there will be a little bit more uh, info to come about that, but we are looking forward to, uh, to doing like a, a video conferencing type of uh, solution where we physically can watch you through that in order to test for your strike, or we're working on setting up uh, individual, uh, whether it's Facebook um, uh, or whether it's FaceTime or some other media, of uh, one-on-one -on -one being able to do a strike test if that's what's needed. Okay, uh, but we look forward to continuing to serve you guys. Look forward to you continuing your growth. Okay, remember it's your journey. It's your progress. Stay focused, work hard, have a great day. Attention, don't land. Do a mid position. All right, right hand over your heart. Jump up, say it loud, say Chong Tzu. All right guys, keep up the hard work. We look forward to seeing you soon. Have a great day.